but you should be ready for it because if you are not ready then he can't help you so this question is always unanswered and there is a lot of ambiguity in people's mind answer because just putting in hard work is of no use gentlemen and many people go wrong in this aspect they always come with some kind of pre decided notion because let me tell you each person is capable of getting recommended SSP aspirants so all of you are keen on joining the defense forces so why is it that you people are not able to get in you are all putting the hard work that is required you have got the full zeal in you the josh in you to do something for a motherland you are putting in all the requirements you have gone through so many videos lectures talk to people you are doing everything that can to get into the defense forces but still there are many things that you still don't know so let me take this opportunity to tell you that what ssb is all about so ssb as you all know is about a 5 day process in which you come on the first day for your stage 1 thereafter you get recommended where uh, for the stage 1 and go on to stage 2 and in stage 2 you basically have to negotiate for the next 4 days of psychology the gto and the personal interview and on the fifth day you have a conference where your the decision is taken for you to get recommended or not get recommended so all of you have your own way of deciding what is correct what is not correct what is good what is not good what some people take advice from some recommended candidates some people take advice from people who have gone to the ssp for longer time some people take advice from some of the defense force officers so you have got all your own methods of taking advice and trying to see as to how you can crack this ssb but what is the mantra for getting recommended nobody has been able to pinpoint so my endeavor would be to tell you some of the critical points where you make lot of mistakes for example let's take gto first so your job of assessment starts as an assessor when i come your job starts from the time the gto is coming towards you in the early morning at 6 o'clock when it is slightly foggy slightly windy slightly cold if it is in the north where people have gone to ssbs in alabad banaras varanasi even bhopal for that matter or hosharpur yes so what is it that the gto is looking from then on you should be concerned about and and you always think you know this is uh, my time will come where i will be able to show but you should realize that your time has already come the moment the duty is walking towards you what kind of positive energy you are displaying when you are standing and eagerly waiting for the gto your personality assessment starts what what kind of dress you are wearing what kind of socks you are wearing what kind of shoes you are wearing what kind of shorts you are wearing what kind of t-shirts you are wearing how you have done up your your uh, hair style what kind of body language are you projecting what kind of confidence level are you projecting to the gto when he is walking towards you so from then on the positive connect between the gto and all the aspirants starts off i am going to tell you right now that many of the times 
candidates get rejected between the tasks as to how they behave in between the tasks how they react to the questions this the GTO asks can he anticipate well can the aspirant anticipate in which direction the GTO is trying to help you people because the final aim of the GTO is to help you and make the situation in which you get the right platform for you to project your correct personality and in the bargain help you in getting recommended so that is the sole aim of any SSR but you should be ready for it because if you are not ready then he can't help you so there are many wrong things and wrong notions as to what the GTO looks at and what you people have to project to him so I keep hearing from a lot of candidates as parent and sir I didn't know he, how did wo banda kaise select ho gaya, sir we don't know how I am being a repeater fifth time sixth time tenth time what is it I have done everything everybody all the other candidates tell me you have done a lot of good things so we don't know what you how you get recommended or not get recommended so this question is always unanswered and there is a lot of ambiguity in people's mind so my job would be to clear your minds of this ambiguity as to what is it that you have to do to get recommended so i always tell this to my candidates whom i teach if you keep putting the hard work in the wrong direction it is of no use for example if you keep adding 2 plus 2 and writing 5 even if you write it 5000 times i am not going to recommend you or the answer will still be wrong so how is it that 2 plus 2 is 4 and when you have reached that 4 you should realize yes i have come to the right answer and my job would be to tell you across the nine tasks in the gto series as to what is it that when you add 2 plus 2 it comes to 4 so how will you arrive at this correct answer because just putting in hard work is of no use gentlemen the direction of your effort has to be correct so my endeavor would be to help you to, to achieve your aim by taking you to the path in the right direction similarly in the interview 45 minutes of interaction with an SSR, the interviewing officer, very experienced person with lots of uh, time that he has spent on the field, whether it is Army, Navy or Air Force, one of the frontline people who have seen all kinds of scenarios in the Defense Forces. So when he talks to you for 45 minutes, how is it that you have to project your, your personality to him, which will impress him and compel him to select you? So one of the most important position places there is the PIQ form because that forms the basis of the whole interview. So I have seen nearly all the candidates missing out on, on how to write the PIQ form which will help the interviewer to take you through the journey of telling your personality in the correct perspective to him so that he can make the correct judgment. And how you have to tell many times I have seen that the candidates are very good but they are unable to express the way they want to the assessor and they miss out on the opportunity of telling their correct inner feelings to the interviewing officer and miss out on getting recommended they just reach the door but are unable to open the door towards recommendation so Again, a big effort and focus and analysis has to be done of individual personalities to explain to the individual as to where they can improve in communicating and telling about their personality to the interviewing officer for a good chance for them to get recommended. Because let me tell you, each person is capable of getting recommended. There is no person who is not capable of getting recommended. It is only if you understand the way to express yourself correctly and ensure that whatever the assessors are looking at you are able to give them what they are looking at and similarly for the psych it is 16 pages of writing 
which is being assessed the inner feeling the subconscious mind of the individual which is being projected on a piece of paper and when the psychologist sees again it should bring out your personality in the correct type correct way and many people go wrong in this aspect they always come with some kind of pre decided notion that we have to write say positive things in the uh, wat or tat or srt or self description all the four uh, things that is uh, part of the psychological technique but they don't know what is this being positive means so my advice to all aspirants would be that if you want to become part of the defense forces it is not enough for you to just study for ssb and try to crack it in 3 months of effort or 6 months of effort you have to change your own lifestyle and start living the life of a foji and once you do that thereafter it becomes very easy for the aspirants to get recommended so my endeavor in my journey to teach the youth of india as to what is the requirements uh, for of the defense forces it will be my endeavor to take you through the journey of transforming you from a civilian way of thinking to a foji way of thinking and living your life so that it becomes that much more easy for you when you face the ssb interview in those five critical days of your life thank you very much